Yo guys, what's going on here? Welcome back to another video on my channel. Now in today's video, guys, I'm going to be bringing you an offensive money play. This is going to be out of the gun split close, close pro formation. The play is going to be white off PA spot. Now I'm currently using the Baltimore Ravens offensive playbook for this video, but in the link down below in the description, I will be, I'll be telling you guys what other for playbooks that this play is in. Now quickly, I want to address my absence for YouTube, why I have not been uploading as much honestly it's a mix of two things first of all i'm a college student and you know it really has been cutting down the free time that i have to make videos and the second probably the most important thing is that i've been really lacking motivation to uploading these kind of videos you know doubting my ability to you know give you guys effective madden tips because i don't play the game as competitively as some other people do and you know i've been really doubting my abilities to give you guys effective madden tips but I really do still appreciate you guys leaving comments on my videos. I just got a comment on one of my videos talking about, you know, how this guy, he went and he ranked second out of 196 or 96 total people that signed up for this tournament. And he really appreciated my videos. And that sort of just gave me the little kick in the rear end to make another video for you guys. And it really proved to me that my tips are really effective and they actually are helping people. So for the guy that commented that, thank you as well to everybody who has, you know, voiced their support for me in the comments down below, you know, saying great videos and whatnot, a great video and whatnot. I really appreciate it guys. But now we're going to get back on a more positive note and let's go ahead and let's transition here into the pre-play adjustments here for this offense. All right, guys. So here we go. This is going to be the pre-play adjustments here for this offense. Now I had mentioned in the intro that this is going to be the play Y off PA spot here out of the gun split close pro formation in the Ravens playbook. And obviously I mentioned as well in the description, I'll have all the playbooks that this play is in, but pretty much what you're going to want to do here is you're going to want to go and you're going to want to make sure that you have two running backs subbed in. And you also want your fastest running back in this right side spot. Now, another thing is while well, you're going to want to come out in or actually don't need to come on any packages because you could sub in the running back right here but pretty much sub in the running back the fastest running back in this right spot on your team the reason why you want to do that is because he's going to be going on a table route and you're going to need a lot of speed to get past defenders and you're not really going to get that done with latavius murray so make sure you have a fast running back here i have jk dobbins he'll do the job pretty well and then basically just put any other running back you have you know preferably your second best running back in this left side position but that's pretty much going to be it here for the pre-play adjustments pretty self-explanatory not really too much into this but basically um, we're just going to be going over this play we're going to be clicking on it here why off pa spot and we're going to be calling just some random defenses now basically what you're going to be doing on this play the main setup that you know you're going to want to go with what I like to do when running this offense is you're going to want to just block the left side running back, which is going to be double tapping that Y button for the hot route adjustment. And you're going to be pressing the right trigger in. Now, what that's going to do is that's going to cancel the play action on this play. Now, I'm just going to show you if you reset the play, you know, you see that, you know, there's a little bit of a play action right there. And we're actually going to be able to throw to B pretty easily on a low pass. But basically, you know, the reason why I like to cancel the play action is because if somebody ends up sending heat off the edge, one of my opponents let's just say like a left side cornerback like i'll just mark him like right here this guy that has the blue m hovering over him if he comes on a blitz and he gets free i'm not really gonna have anything to do in that situation i won't have enough time to react so i just like to block the running back just to sort of cancel the play action now that's pretty much the only adjustment you're gonna make now this is what the player is gonna look like after you do block the running back so pretty much what you're gonna want to look for here the first receiver is going to be that RB receiver, the fast running back that I told you guys to sub in on that right side is going to be going on a little bit of a table route, but it's a bit shorter than your usual table route that you would have on like a backfield master player. But basically, he's going to go on that table route. You're going to want to look for him first and foremost. Then you're going to take a look at the B receiver. He's going to come on a little bit of a slanted hitch. He sort of comes in towards that right hash, and then he is going to come back. And you're going to want to go ahead and throw that ball if he's either in a one on one situation or if he's completely open in that part of the field now then that's a part of the field that can be exploited in a lot of ways so definitely go ahead if he is open throw that ball now if your opponent is starting to catch on a little bit and that part's being left open and your opponent finally sees okay i need to make an adjustment 
Then the next part, the next player you're going to look for is going to be this X receiver on the left side. He's coming on a little bit of a weird, weird curl route because he sort of goes outside the numbers and then he obviously comes back in like a curl. So basically you want to throw that. And then finally the A receiver, which is the tight end on that corner route, you're going to want to look for him. So pretty much we're just going to hike the ball. We're going to see the running back is going to get open. We actually have a little bit of separation. Now, unfortunately, we were not able to beat the cornerback right there, but you just want to make those simple reads, you know, see if the cornerback is sort of going in a man coverage assignment you know just really make sure if you have some space though definitely go ahead and utilize that with your running back now what we're going to be doing here is we're going to also be going over a different setup so let's hear let's let's say your opponent starts to catch on like let's say this x receiver keeps getting open and he's like okay i need to find a way to stop this well if he goes ahead and does that this is going to be a way for you guys to counter that what we're going to be doing is we're going to be throwing the x receiver on that left side into a smart routed in route now how to do that you're gonna be pressing y for hot route adjustments you're gonna press the x button you're gonna flick that left stick in for to the right for an in route and then you're gonna want to smart route him which is gonna make the route longer so you see this route right here it's gonna be going about five yards well once we smart route it which is gonna be y x and rb that route is now going to go about 11, 12 yards up the field. Now, this is going to be really good against like man coverage, for example. If you low pass it, it's going to be definitely very effective for getting separation. And then a little optional adjustment that you guys can do is if you want to have another option on the field, throw your wide receiver, which is going to be that running back out of the backfield that we previously blocked. You're going to want to throw him into an option route. This is one of the best routes on the game, and I'm going to explain why. So basically double tap the Y button, and you're going to press the left trigger in. Now, what this is going to do an option route is very, very, it's very good because you see the running back, he sort of goes on a hitch and then it's a little bit grayed out, but on that left side, he's going towards the sideline. So that's basically, it's either a hitch or an out route, depending on what your opponent is running on defense. So if your opponent is running zone coverage, he is going to go on a hitch. And then when he's running man coverage, then he's going to go on an out route. Now this is going to be really crucial here as an out route with your running back against man coverage. is actually very good. You get a lot of separation, especially if the running back is on a linebacker. So basically we're just going to hike the ball. You're going to see it as man coverage or Actually, it is zone coverage in this case, and Latavius Murray unfortunately was not able to catch the ball. But you're gonna, see, but you saw right here that he went on that little curl and he came back to the ball. Now on defense, we are running man cut or my the uh, what's it called my second controller is running man coverage. So this actually gonna be really key. So you're gonna see here we hike the ball and then boom, he goes on that out route. Look at how much separation in he had with that defensive back. Now it is a safety on him, and that is Latavius Murray who. As you guys probably know, he's not really the most elusive of running backs, and he's getting that sort of separation, so that's very key. But guys, that's going to pretty much do it here for today's video. Hope you guys have enjoyed. If you did, please make sure to smash that like button. Let's trash my five likes. You guys are awesome. Take care, but most importantly, stay classy.